Can you sit? Can you hang out? All right, so me and Josie are here in Grand Island, Nebraska. We are getting some work done on the camper over at Rich and Sun. So while we wait, we decided to come to the Stern Museum again. Been here a few times. Um, if you like history at all, especially like pioneer history uh, about like the settling of the West, as they call it, uh, or the, the prairie, uh, come to the Stern Museum. It's a really awesome place. They have a lot of buildings, a lot of activities. Uh, we used to come as kids for field trips all the time in school. I remember making rope once, sitting in the classroom and using the, the uh, old or the inkwell pens or whatever um, and getting smacked on the, the hand with a ruler. Um, they have just a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so if you ever want to learn about history and you're in this area, definitely stop. It's a must see. Josie, don't do that. Anyways, so it's really, really windy. So we're kind of just gonna do a walking tour. I'll get on and kind of explain things um, every once in a while. But like I said, it's really windy. So we're just gonna walk around for a little while. break right here it is so dang windy out here uh, anyways I don't know if you saw the sign when we first came in here but this farm was actually built in 1890 obviously relocated here by um, whoever's family I don't even know whose family um, but it's just it shows like I guess the layout the kind of the kind of home that a family would have back in the late 1800s and it's I think it's really awesome to see this because like these old houses, they could have just been left to die and fall apart like a lot of them are. Um, but thankfully this one wasn't, it's here so we can see it. We can't go inside. Um, I don't even think this one is open ever, even in the summertime, um, but it's still cool to see it. Now we're gonna head to the church next. We can't go inside like all the other buildings, we can't go inside because they're closed up in the winter time. Um, but this church, was um, at the beginning of one of my favorite movies, um, Sarah Plain and Tall. Um, it doesn't actually say in the movie credits that it was, but me and my mom swear that this is the church at the beginning of Sarah Plain and Tall when Sarah is riding the train into town. Um, anyways, watch the movie. It's awesome. All right, just go.
Look at that cool 3D windmill. The 1935 phone booth. I bet kids now don't even know what the heck a phone booth is. <laughs> Switchboard for 1940. Can you imagine coming across the country in something like that? Me and mom rode a stagecoach once and it was miserable. It was so bumpy. So this is the old way you would perm your hair. Perm your hair on this. That looks a little freaky. This electric curler permanent wave is was invented in 1905. How about that? No idea what that thing is. Oh, it's a blood pump. Oh, that's kind of creepy. That's how they pumped your blood in the 1900s. Look at this fancy buggy. This is a side saddle that looks absolutely miserable. <laughs> 